Hey tech fans, I'm Dave Graveline. Welcome to your weekly trip into tomorrow. You'll want to stay tuned to our radio show and these ITTV videos. On our next update, we'll be bringing you highlights from CES Unveiled New York. It's the press preview to the big international CES from Las Vegas in January, where we'll be kicking off our 20th year on the air. I want to remind you that our prize closet team, now headed up by Fidel, is anxious to send you goodies. And all you have to do is participate on our national radio program. Call us anytime with any tech-related question. Maybe you have a tip that might help someone else in our audience. Maybe you have some tech rage to share with us about some electronics that just didn't live up to what they claimed. Or maybe you just want to share your favorite app these days. Call us anytime at 1-800-899-INTO. That's 1-800-899-4686. Our Ask Dave hotline is open 24-7. And don't forget that you can also use our free Into Tomorrow apps for your mobile device to send us an audio question. It's easy and rewarding. Let's jump into our Wayback Machine now. Chris is up next to take a look at some of yesterday's tech milestones with his popular feature, This Week in Tech History. This week in 1851, the telescope was patented by Alvin Clark of Cambridge, Massachusetts. In 1939 this week, the first air-conditioned automobiles went on display at the Auto Show in Chicago, Illinois. In 1984, the first attempt to rescue two crippled satellites took place as the space shuttle Discovery lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. And this week in 1993, Microsoft Windows for Workgroups 3.11 was released. The operating system boasted improved support for NetWare and Windows NT, and slipped in numerous architectural changes to improve performance and stability, changes that later found their way into Windows 95. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA Berlin, the global show for consumer tech and home appliances, and the official partner of the future. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Make sure you get social with us. Stop by our Facebook page anytime at fb.com slash into tomorrow. Then check out our official Twitter feed at IT Radio Show. We love it when you get social with us. If you don't yet subscribe to our weekly tech newsletter, you should. Each week we bring you interesting tech news stories, links to our show pages, our guests' websites, and lots more. We even include some hmm thoughts to make you smile. It's free. All you have to do is stop by our main page at intotomorrow.com and enter your email address only in the red box. You'll get an email to make sure you want to receive it. Click that confirmation link and voila! You'll have Into Tomorrow in your inbox once a week. And we promise to never share your email address with anyone, in spite of their constant begging. The most important advice we've ever given out on the show is to back up your data. And we remind you all the time, hard drive crashes probably cause more stress than any other computer problem. It can be avoided with a simple backup. There's a ton of backup software on the market these days. Well, Chris is up next to tell us about one particular program we've been using lately. You know the expression, you never know what you have until it's gone? That certainly rings true for data. We seem to take a lot of our data for granted until we fall headfirst into the hell that we call hard drive failure. No! With hard drives, especially traditional non-SSD drives, it's not a question of if it'll fail, it's when. Fortunately, there are many options when it comes to data backups. You've got local backups, which is anything from a CD or DVD to a USB hard drive connected to your computer. Then there are cloud backups, which use your internet connection to back up your files onto someone else's servers. And don't worry, because all the reputable data backup companies use encryption, so your data should be safe. One of the backup services we use, and came in handy recently when one of my main hard drives failed, is Nero Back It Up 2014. This software will allow you to back up your data on a local internal drive, an external USB drive, CD or DVD, a network hard drive, or online in the cloud. They have several plans available, starting with their free version that will give you the ability to manually back up your data to a local drive and provides 5 gigs of online cloud storage. Their paid plans that start at about $15 per year add automatic backup, the ability to back up to network drives or optical media, and increased online storage space. For about 70 bucks a year, you can get a plan that includes unlimited cloud storage, so you can make sure all of your data is backed up. 
Now, backups are no good if you forget to run the software, so having automatic backups available is a plus. Once you set up the software, you don't have to worry about it. Just set the schedule and it'll run in the background. Once you install the software, you click the big Backup Now button to set up your first backup. Then you select the files and folders you want to back up and where you want those files to back up to. You can then sign up for your account and be able to back up to the cloud. Again, with 5 gig for free, you can at least keep your most important files backed up. Another thing I liked about this software is that they have apps to back up your mobile devices as well. You can use it on iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. Like I've said before, backups are critical, and the best advice we can give someone is to make sure your data is always backed up. Then you don't have to worry if your hard drive should crash. We'd love to hear what you use to back up your data regularly. Leave your comments below or call us at 1-800-899-INTO. Or of course use our app. And if you haven't done it lately, here's your reminder, go back up your data. That about wraps it up for this week's ITTV update. Don't forget to tune into our three hour radio show and visit our site at intotomorrow.com. Check us out next time as we bring you highlights from CES Unveiled in New York City. I'm Dave Graveline. Monster, you know, that kind of thing.